Okay, so you have applied for a skilled worker visa as a senior carer, as a healthcare assistant, or as a registered nurse, and you have a COS from your so called sponsor or agency. So, how are you able to know that the COS is genuine? Of course, you can see from on my screen that I have a COS. Now, the first thing you'll be able to know that your COS is genuine or fake is the number of pages. You can see that this one has only one page. That is the first sign that your COS is not complete or it's not genuine. Obviously, it has been edited. This one is, this is a fake one that I received from one guy who says he can help me get a sponsor, sponsorship or a skilled worker visa. Now, an original COS like this one, you have two pages or sometimes even more. That is, if the sponsor, sponsor note is not even included, it's written beneath it. So, you see, there should be two pages and this, this, the third page should contain your work dates the main work address in the UK, the migrants employment, the migrants employment employment PAY. So you can see that the fake one only has the first page, which almost looks like it has been edited. Okay. That is the first step. Your COS should have more than one page. The second one is to check and see if the sponsor's name, that is the sponsor's name, the, the company which is sponsoring you is in the list of the companies who are licensed to sponsor skilled work, work workers. Okay, so the company needs to be registered. The third one is to also check and see if the sponsor's number is genuine. So we have covered covered one, which is the number of pages in the COS. Now let's let's look at the second and the third. So let's look at the second, the name of the company you are going to work with must be in the list of companies licensed to sponsor candidates so you just copy the name of the, of the company and come to this website which is called the UKTS UKTS sponsors.co.co.uk so you just type the name let me type the name of this John Tree News and hit enter on your keyboard or search and you can see that sorry no matches no matching record found so let me even enter just one word country still let me assume that it is two words so type and search and you can see that it is not here so obviously this company is not sponsored uh, it's not licensed to sponsor so which means that the cos is fake now let's assume that the company is registered to sponsor but maybe it has not been listed on the website now you can check the certificate number to see if it is a, a unique or is a correct certificate number. Okay, so let's go to the third one. The third one is to find out if the certificate number is correct. Now, in order for you to be able to check if the certificate number is correct, it's it involves a little bit longer steps. What you have to do is that you go to the go to the UK government website and try to apply for the visa. You know, with your COS and your document, you can apply for the visa yourself. You don't need to go through any lawyer. You can do it yourself. You just, you just come to this website. I'll, I'll give you the link. And you click on work in the UK. It depends on the kind of visa that you are. So in this case, it's a skilled worker visa. So you click on the work in the UK. And you choose the kind of visa that you have. Um, the kind of uh, sponsorship you have. Say, um, health healthcare and for health and care worker then you scroll down scroll down you see how to apply then if you're, you are outside the uk you click outside the uk then you see the apply now button click on apply now button okay so when, when you follow the process you reach uh, the application when you start the application you'll be required to enter the sponsor license number but without the sponsor license number, you you not be able to continue the application. So let let me go and copy. Let me go and copy this. Um. So it is sponsor license. So two seven five F two. Two seven five F two. 2xvv6 2xvv6 
So two seven five F two X F two X V V six. Then say continue. You see this information. License number not found. Please check the number. Oh. So you can see that the license number cannot be found. Now I'm going to use an original COS um, certificate license number. And let me save it. You see that it's working. It's working. Okay, so let me. And when it is working, you see the name of the company. You see the name of the company. You can see that this is the name of the company. I don't want to show the company. I just, but you can see that this is the sponsor license number and you can see the name of the company. So these are the three ways you'll be able to know that your COS is genuine or fake. Thank you.